What's up guys, Mushy Furry here from the Mushy ROMs and today we're going to be playing Chrono Cross on the PSX for all emulator on the iPhone 4. By the way, I have a sinus infection, so sorry if my voice sounds a little weird. Alright, so let's begin. I have never played Chrono Cross, but I have played Chrono Trigger, which is basically the same thing in a way. Chrono Cross is an adaptation of the Super Nintendo Chrono Trigger. Uh, but uh, I've heard that Chrono, Tri uh, Chrono Cross gets dissed because it didn't live up to the epicness of Chrono Trigger, personally, from what I've played, which is very little. Um, I like it. I mean, it was made by uh, Squaresoft, a.k.a. Square Enix. And uh, it's basically an awesome game. Basically, you could rate this as a good Final Fantasy game. Um, this is uh, probably, I'd probably give this a 9 out of 10. Uh, it runs just as good as Final Fantasy 7, except like Final Fantasy 9, which I re reviewed. Um, the cinematics do not have any sound on the iPhone. I'm going to skip this cutscene right here. Um, basically, the tutorial is a dream that you have. Uh, you have, from what I've uh, played the beginning from, you have a random set of allies. I know. I think you have Kid. Um, by default, but you have someone different. One time I had a mermaid girl, and another time I had this big jock, this guy, so I don't know. Well, we're going to keep our name, Serge. And uh, right here you can tell that the cinematics do not have any sound, but in my opinion this isn't really a big bummer. Um, most games do not have sound in their cinematics. Well, when I say sound, I mean uh, voices until Final Fantasy X. So, this is pre-Final Fantasy X, so basically it's just music, which isn't that bad. Now, you will soon learn that the dialogue in this game is very unique. Um, the first time I played this, I was like, what the hell are they saying? But you'll learn that's just like their dialect, so you'll get used to it. Okay, um, <laughs> and we have another random party. Um, this time we did not have either a mermaid girl or a big dude. We have this fairy. What the fuck? Okay, this is weird. Mm-hmm, there's Kid right there. Yeah, she's with you by default. But yeah, the game looks wonderful on the iPhone 4's retina screen. It runs full speed except for the cinematics, which have no sound. But, like I just said, this is not a major bummer. The uh, controls run just like Final Fantasy IX. I've always wondered this. Why does Final Fantasy VII have different controls? The circle button is the action button, and the square is the cancel button, while any other Final Fantasy game I've played is the exact opposite. Now I'm going to get into one battle. Uh, I don't want to get into a lot because that will run the time. You'll see that battles run pretty long, but you get a lot of cool hits in. The uh, attack system is very strange. But you'll get used to it. Um, there's mean, uh, minimum, medium, and heart attack. Each one has a percent to hit. You get to pick. See, I've been playing Final Fantasy VII too much. Pick which character you want. See, 92%, 79, and 69. I'll go with an easy attack. Medium attack, and a heart attack. Critical hit. Very seems pretty cool. Alright, there's Kid. Go with it easy. Let's try a hard. Good, I hit it. And then I get 95% on the hard again. That's what she said. So yeah, this game seems wonderful. Uh, it runs almost constantly full speed. So don't worry about anything. Uh, basically the story, like I just said, is like Chrono Trigger. There's alternate realities, alternate endings, and alternate characters, as you can see. I do, I do not know if the characters have any, any, uh, any value in the story itself, whether which one you get, but, you know, I guess I'll later on see when I play it. And uh, if you guys think that I just review these uh, ROMs and then trash them, 
No, I've played, so far I'm 7 hours in Final Fantasy 9 and 5 hours in Final Fantasy 7. Uh, I'm playing more of Final Fantasy 9 because, like I said in the review of that, um, I think Final Fantasy 9 is better than Final Fantasy 7. It's like Final Fantasy 7's epicness and story mixed with Final Fantasy's 8 good graphics. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. And like I said, this is like a tutorial mode. This is a dream that Surge has that you'll learn. And from what I can tell, like I've said, this game has a very good story so far. I've only played about 30 minutes of it. And that isn't much at all compared to an RPG, but uh, I do like it a lot. Okay, of course I get run into a bat, so I'm going to try to flee. And if you want something new than the Final Fantasy series, this is what you want. Uh, new characters, new story, new way of attacks, a new world, and basically new graphics. This is probably the most well-made graphic graphic uh, game on the PS1. Final Fantasy IX is way up there, but not near as graphical as Chrono Cross. And I may even do a review on Chrono Trigger. Well, I'll, I'll definitely do a uh, tutorial on how to get Super Nintendo games easily on your iPhone without a computer in the future. Okay, that was like a little gate, sort of, that you have to open. Now we can go to that thing in the middle. And I'm running six minutes right now, so I don't have much longer to show you. I want to get to the cutscene. And, ooh, wrong way. God damn, that bat pissing me off. <laughs> Ugh, I hate the way I sound. This sinus infection is killing me. But the show has to go on. Run away. I know I'm a little puss. <laughs> and, uh, like always, guys, I mean, just... Just comment below of what games you want me to review. I did try to uh, play Silent Hill that people requested me to do. Whoops. Okay. Oh my god, this is the third time. I'm just going to kill these bats. Um, I did try to do Silent Hill, but there was some graphical issue with the characters. And uh, you just couldn't enjoy it. It ran good, except the graphical issue, which I cannot control. Uh, it wasn't the emulator's fault, it was the ROM's fault. So, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I will be trying to do Resident Evil to make up for the Silent Hill. So, see that wasn't that hard. I should have just attacked these fuckers at the beginning. One hundred seventeen. Oh, I think that was the best one I've got so far. Alright, now that's that. We can continue with the cutscene. And like I just said like three times probably, this is a dream and tutorial mode I can get out of this fucking place. And apparently, um, you can heal yourself after every... After every battle with some energy that you gain. Well, I want to try to get past this guy if I can. Okay. Run, 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 run. Oh, look how beastly I am. A line on this fucker. And now, here comes the cutscene. Dun dun dun. With no sound. I'm gonna try to commentate this. Dun 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 dun. Floating, 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 floating. Good 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 good. Talking, 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 talking. Talking, talking. Looking, looking, looking. You can tell from the dialogue that it's different than other games. Mm. Come on, baby cakes. Let's get to the cinematic. 
I do want to enjoy this story though like every other RPG so you know play it enjoy it here comes the cinematic and uh, basically I'm just gonna let you watch this and then cut the video off but I want you guys to please subscribe comment favorite like and continue watching my videos because I love making I love making videos for you guys here's the cinematic enjoy peace out love you all peace